Today, I'm gonna be playing out the career of Christian McCaffrey, but after every season, he's gonna be switching to a new team. And I mean, after this season, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that McCaffrey has proved that he is the best running back in the NFL right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see what he does on different teams. But obviously in the first season, he's on the San Francisco 49ers. And I mean, looking at it right now, obviously, this offense is pretty loaded. So I mean, right out of the gate, McCaffrey has a pretty solid chance to win a Super Bowl with this team. I mean, obviously the Niners did make it all the way to the big game this season, but in year number one, it looks like the Niners had themselves one hell of a season going 14 and three to win the division, but they got to play the Giants in the wild card round because apparently the Cowboys went 15 and two. So they got the number one seed. Ravens are also 16 and one. So I mean, that is going to be something that we're probably going to have to watch out for, but it looks like the Giants are going to get absolutely in annihilated so now we play the Packers in the divisional round and it looks like we're also gonna get the win against the Packers so now we play the Cowboys for a trip to the Super Bowl Dallas did start with the ball but it looks like our defense clutched up for us I feel like this is gonna be a very close game though I mean considering the Cowboys are 15 and 2 this season I feel like this is gonna be a very difficult game to win but with that being said the 49ers also at this point kind of own the Cowboys so so hopefully we can get another dub. I mean, I honestly might just keep running it because right now it seems like McCaffrey is on an absolute tear. They have not had an answer for this guy yet, but that holding call is going to mess us up. He was doing so good too, man. I mean, that would have been three first downs in a row for McCaffrey, but since we got stopped there, that's a terrible pass, but we are going to find Kittle who's somehow wide open. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting a lot more out of the Cowboys defense coming into this game but i mean so i know it's only the first drive but so far we have been dominating them i mean they really haven't had an answer for anything we've been doing so far i'm gonna try and end things off right here though and hopefully debo that's gonna be close actually never mind he's wide open they left another guy wide open so that's an easy touchdown for samuel again i don't know what this defense is doing but it seems like they're choking in the playoffs right now just like always after that the cowboys did score but we did did end up scoring as well before halftime so we're out here in the third quarter now i'm hoping i mean if we can get a oh let's go mccaffrey that's another huge run i mean if we can get a touchdown on this drive that is going to put us up by two scores but considering we're only in the third quarter right now the game would still be far from being over. That's another first from McCaffrey. I mean, he has 78 yards on the ground already. So it looks like McCaffrey is already on his way to a monster performance. And Debo is now wide open. That honestly might go. Never mind. We're going to get caught. But either way, that's another huge pickup. So hopefully we can punch it in here. I'm just going to hand it off to Christian McCaffrey again. We do only need nine yards, so I mean, I'm hoping this will work out. Once again, they're stopping the run, though. I mean, it seems like ever since that first drive, the Cowboys have kind of learned their lesson because they have been pretty locked down with the run game lately. I'm going to try... Debo, please. No, that's intercepted. Why did you stop? What are you doing, Debo, bro? Come on, man. Come on, man. And we're going to miss him. So it looks like this is going to turn into a pick six unless... Oh, my God. Ayuk, bro. Oh, we almost caught him. What was Debo doing, bro? That was not his route. Why did he just stop? I feel like we have to kind of make up for that now and get the lead back. I mean, I am extremely disappointed in Debo, bro. I almost want to bench him. But at the same time, I feel like that probably wouldn't... Oh my god, Jennings is gonna do it. Oh, that's almost a touchdown. I've learned my lesson. I'm not giving Debo the ball for the rest of the game. That was actually brutal. So I'm just gonna hand it off to McCaffrey. And hopefully he can punch this in. This time we're gonna score. So we have the lead back, but we're only up by seven instead of two scores. I mean, we could be up by two scores, but we all saw what happened but after that i mean it looks like we choked to the cowboys in the playoffs which is something i didn't think that i would be saying today i'm putting all of the blame on debo though that was all his fault i mean the part that sucks the most is mccaffrey played his heart out man i mean the guy had 136 yards in that game and we still lost 
But to end off year number one, it looks like Lamar is going to be winning MVP. And after going 16 and one, somehow the Ravens choked to the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number two. And it looks like this season, McCaffrey ended up signing with the Buffalo Bills. And once again, I mean, McCaffrey has found himself on another very solid offense. I mean, even though this team looks very, very stacked, it is 10 times harder to make it out of the AFC than the NFC. But I mean, at the very least, the Bills should be making the playoffs, but it looks like the Bills did end up having one hell of a season, going 14 and 3 to win the division, and they got to play the Dolphins in the wild card round. I'm also just realizing that I forgot to show McCaffrey's stats for last season. I mean, last year he went off with 1,500 yards for 19 touchdowns, and this season was not much different. This year he had 1,300 yards for 18 touchdowns. So it seems like McCaffrey has been a man on a mission so far. I'm hoping we can find digs here if this works out as shit Allen's getting sacked. Okay, what a start. I mean, I didn't even see him coming, bro. I know we have home team advantage, but Miami kind of has the advantage right now since they're wearing all white. I can't even see where they're coming from in the snow. And after that sack, the Dolphins did end up scoring. So we're down 7 nothing right now. I'm hoping, yeah, this defense is playing really good today. I mean, the way this Miami defense is playing right now, it seems like we may be in for a very long day today. I mean, our O-line is not holding up whatsoever digs bring that in thank you that's a huge play and somehow it dude okay that's a touchdown i thought we were gonna get caught by ramsey for a second but digs is faster i mean i was not expecting that to work out after how good this defense has been playing today but we're gonna score a touchdown on ramsey so that ties the game up coming back out here in the fourth quarter though i mean as you can see we're all knotted up at 17 right now i'm just gonna hand it off to mccaffrey again here this time it looks like we're actually gonna get some solid yardage after the juke too we're still going i mean that is the biggest play that he has made all game so far i mean the run game hasn't been great today but that play obviously worked out very nicely for us i mean that one play alone right there almost gave mccaffrey pretty much all of his yardage for the game because he's only got 46 yards on the ground right now which obviously is nothing special so miami has been doing a lot better than dallas was last season with that being said though i mean i feel like we do have a better chance at beating miami than dallas just because dallas was absolutely insane last season that's gonna be dangerous that's pass interference on ramsey ramsey's playing like he's beefing and digs right now i mean digs did score a touchdown on him already so he's probably kind of upset here that is dangerous but no way he caught that i thought that was picked off Diggs somehow brought that in with a crazy diving grab so that's gonna put the bills back up by a touchdown as you can see though miami ended up tying things up so we're all knotted at 31 in overtime right now and both teams have also scored in overtime i'm pretty sure all we need to do is kick a field goal and we're good though and it looks like that is almost a touchdown this is also the second overtime so i mean we've pretty much played six quarters today i'm hoping mccaffrey can end it off right here and it looks like that's gonna be good so christian mccaffrey after not doing a whole lot that game i mean he did have a couple solid runs but either way he's gonna be scoring the touchdown to send the bills to the next round and as you can see it looks like we have to play the jags in the divisional round and it looks like we're gonna beat the jags by one point so now we play the chiefs for a trip to the super bowl it looks like we have another snow game so that's back-to-back -back snow games which honestly barely ever happens for me but this time we are the team wearing all white so maybe that will give us the advantage today this is gonna be a very difficult game to win though i mean i just want to go ahead and point out that this year the chiefs ended up going 16 and 1 so this game honestly bro no way stefan Diggs is wide open that is gonna be the easiest touchdown we could possibly score as i'm talking about how this game is gonna be super difficult they leave this guy wide open for a score we're coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean the chiefs are up 20 to 13 right now but if we score here that is gonna tie things up Allen is going backwards i honestly thought that play was gonna work out for us but apparently not i'm gonna try and go back to stefan Diggs here though because this guy has been insane today that is a first down Allen got smoked as we let go of that i'm gonna go for another run after that though because i mean it seems like this o-line still is not doing a whole lot today so hopefully 
Yeah, McCaffrey's gone. That is probably the biggest run he's had since he's been on the Bills. I feel like we honestly might be able to do a bit more with the run game against the Chiefs today, just because their defense is more focused on the pass rush than the run game. And Diggs is open again. That's another first. I mean, it seems like Stephon Diggs has just been on an absolute tear today. He's been pretty much unstoppable all game so far. And once again, that's another solid run from McCaffrey. I don't want to risk too much here, but I am going to put in the air. If this doesn't work out, I feel like McCaffrey should be able to get three yards on the ground, no problem. But, oh yeah, that's going to pay off too. We're going to find digs. I mean, it didn't work out for a touchdown like I was hoping it would, but either way, that brings the ball all the way to the five-yard line. So hopefully McCaffrey, yeah, that's his specialty. We're in. That's another touchdown. So just like that, that is going to tie things up. I'm assuming this game is going to come right down to the wire, just like Chiefs versus Bills always does. I mean, just like always, the game did come right down to the wire, but also, just like always, Patrick Mahomes is going to be getting the best of Josh Allen in the playoffs once again. So, I mean, I guess that's another heartbreaking end to the season for Bills fans, but I mean, what else is new? On the bright side, Josh Allen did end up winning MVP, and it looks like the Chiefs are going to be beating the Eagles in a Super Bowl rematch. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number three, and this season, it looks like McCaffrey ended up signing with the Miami Dolphins, and I mean, looking at this offense right now, this honestly might be the best team that McCaffrey has been on so far. I mean, the team literally has weapons everywhere for Tua Tunga Viola to work with. So, I mean, if the Dolphins are going to win a Super Bowl, I'd say now would clearly be the time. And it looks like the Dolphins actually had a pretty solid season going 13 and 4 to win the division. And we got to play the Pats in the wild card round because once again, the Chiefs went 16 and 1. So, that's probably going to be another problem that we're going to have to deal with in the playoffs. But, anyways, McCaffrey had 1,700 yards for 14 touchdowns. But it looks like the Pats are going to get absolutely annihilated. So now we play the Steelers in the divisional round. And it looks like we're also going to get the dub against Pittsburgh. So now we play the 16-1 Chiefs for a trip to the Super Bowl. I just knew that we were going to have to see these guys in the playoffs. I mean, props to Miami. I honestly didn't think they were going to make it this far. But now we're one win away from going to the Super Bowl. With that being said, though, I mean, obviously this is going to be a very, very difficult game to win i mean the bills almost did it and honestly come on bring that in hill what a grab from tyree since we have tyree kill though i mean we honestly might have a better chance at winning this game than buffalo did i mean tyreek is an absolute beast once he gets open field there is no catching up to him so that's gonna bring the ball all the way to the 20 i mean it looks like we're already rolling right now so hopefully we can just keep doing what we're doing already mccaffrey is somehow still going i mean he should have got dropped way back there but he kind of just piled through everyone and i just want to point out that chris jones is one of the guys that he went through which is pretty impressive that's another first down so six yards to go and we're in this play is kind of risky it's either a touchdown or we're gonna lose yardage there is no in between so hopefully it's a touchdown and it looks like that is gonna be a touchdown so that play is gonna work out for us so just like that the Dolphins are going to take an early lead over the Chiefs. I don't think that's going to last very long. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. I mean, we do have a pretty tight game right now. It's 17 to 13. So if we score here as long as it's a touchdown, that is going to give us a lead back. Two was going down. I was just hoping a route would open up for us to escape, but obviously that didn't happen. I'm going to try and go for Jalen Waddle here. That is the nice thing about our receivers being so fast. I mean, they're really good at getting open space. So that is going to be a first down to keep the drive going. I'm just going to hand it off to McCaffrey again and see what he can do here. We're going to get some blocks. So that's another first down. I'm going to try and run this PA crossers play of Tyree Kill again. I mean, the way the defense is set up, I'm thinking we might... Aw, he shifted over. That's going to be dangerous. I'm going for it anyways. And it looks like that is going to work out. And we're going to get pushed in for the touchdown. We were so close to getting stopped at the one yard line. I mean, either way, that would have been a huge play. But that is 10 times better. Now the Dolphins have the lead again. We're back out here with 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter, though. I mean, the Chiefs do have the lead right now but as you can see i mean we're at the three yard line so as long as things go the way i want it to and 
that honestly might be the one to do it right there. I mean, there's 17 seconds on the clock, so if anyone's gonna come back, it's gonna be Patrick Mahomes, but hopefully our defense can clutch up, and as you can see, it looks like our defense actually got the job done. So Miami, I know we're the two seed, so it's not like a huge upset, but either way, we're gonna pull off the upset, so the Dolphins are headed to the Super Bowl, but anyways, to end off year number three, it looks like Dak Prescott ended up winning MVP, and it looks like we're gonna be playing the Falcons out of all teams in the Super Bowl. Atlanta did score first, so we are down 7 0. I'm going to try and hand it off to McCaffrey here, though, and see if the run game is going to be doing anything today. That's a pretty solid pickup. One thing I'm really trying not to do here, though, is sleep on Atlanta because, I mean, this team has improved a lot. Remember, we're three years into the future now, so this team is pretty solid. I mean, they do have an 87 overall offense and defense. I try and go for a shot of Jalen Waddle here, though. I mean, this is kind of dangerous i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna try this anyways and hopefully we don't throw an interception or anything actually tyreek might be able to bring this in what a grab he got smoked so that is definitely gonna help out our case i'm gonna do another passing play and hopefully jalen waddle can win the foot race here i mean i'm just oh he's kind of actually that's gonna work again that's gonna work again it was actually a pretty impressive play from tua man i mean he threw that off of his back foot so i'm surprised that that was such an accurate throw atlanta did force a third down after that though so i mean i'm just gonna try and go for tyreek and hope that this works out for a first down that's dangerous that's intercepted bro okay that was a really bad read. I mean, luckily for us, we did get the ball back after that. I thought Tyreek was going to be able to jump out in front of him and take the ball, but that did not happen. That's on me. I'm not going to lie. As I said, that was a terrible read. But honestly, I'm just happy our defense was able to clutch up for us. So hopefully they can play well from here on out because we are definitely going to need them today. Waddle's going to be wide open though. So that is a huge play. Or apparently that was Sutton, not Waddle. Apparently we have Cortland Sutton on this team now which i did not realize but that's kind of a plus and that should be a touchdown actually that might be overthrown never mind tyreek's gonna get there that's an easy one i mean once he gets some separation from that defender there is no catching him so that's gonna tie the game up just like that we're coming back out here in the fourth quarter though i mean as you can see the falcons do have the lead over us right now but if we can score here i mean we have great field position so hopefully we don't mess this up and it looks like we're gonna have waddle wide open we are in i thought we were gonna get stopped at the one yard line but that is gonna give us a four point lead as long as we make the pat attempt so i mean now the falcons only have 27 seconds to try and tie things up so that might be the one to put things away and after that it looks like our defense was able to get the job done i mean that was a very close game atlanta put up one hell of a fight but either way it looks like christian mccaffrey is finally gonna be getting himself that super bowl ring with the miami dolphins i had a feeling this team was gonna be able to do this i mean that offense was absolutely loaded but as you can see in year number three Tua Tunga Viola Christian McCaffrey and the Miami Dolphins are gonna be hoisting a well-deserved Lombardi trophy but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number four which is gonna be the final season of this video and to end things off it looks like McCaffrey ended up signing with the Philadelphia Eagles and as you can see once again it looks like McCaffrey has found himself on a very solid offense I mean considering we are fresh off of a Super Bowl win with a team like this i'd say we actually have a pretty decent chance at running it back this year and it looks like the eagles had one hell of a season going 15 and 2 to win the division and get the number one seed and once again it looks like mccaffrey was a huge part in the eagles being this good i mean he had 1500 yards for 19 touchdowns but it looks like we got to play the cowboys in the divisional round i mean so far things are looking pretty good for us i'm gonna try and go for smith off of this play though and hopefully yeah that's that's looking pretty good that might go for a touchdown we're gonna get past everybody and we're gonna avoid Trayvon Diggs so it looks like that is gonna be a very early score for the Philadelphia Eagles so I mean that's definitely one hell of a start we're coming back out here in the third quarter though I mean we do have pretty solid field position here but on the downside we are down by two scores so it looks like Dallas is playing a whole lot better now so I mean from here on out if we want to win this game I feel like we can't really afford to make any more mistakes everyone's locked up so i'm just gonna go on the run with hurts that is a huge pickup that was a lot more yardage than i was expecting to get there so i mean i'm definitely happy with that outcome come on 
get there. That's going to be another pretty decent pickup. At this point, I feel like Smith is honestly playing a bit better than AJ Brown has. So for, for today, at least, I mean, I, I didn't check his stats for the whole season, but right now it seems like Smith is the better wide receiver. AJ is still a 99 overall though. So I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously the guy is still absolutely ridiculous. That might work out for a touchdown. Actually, come on, Brown, squeeze in. We're one yard short. I'm gonna just try and punch in with McCaffrey here. I mean, as long as this works out, we're only gonna be down by seven points. And it looks like we almost got caught, but McCaffrey's gonna do a nice little flip into the end zone. So that's gonna put us right back in this thing. I mean, now we're only down by seven points. But unfortunately, after that, it looks like the Cowboys ended up pulling off the upset. I mean, we did put up one hell of a fight. We only lost by one score. But either way, that's going to send us home early. But anyways, to end off the final season, it looks like Dak ended up winning MVP. And it looks like the Cowboys ended up winning the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.